Hey guys, Kev here, and I have unboxings to do for you. So I got two knives, I think. I'm not sure what's in here. I ordered uh, some White Mountain knives. I recently ordered three knives from them. One of them I paid for yesterday, so I don't think that's it. That was the Kubi Pike, because I wanted to do some market research, because at Devo, we have the MASH, which Kubi did for us. This is a prototype. And uh, it's a steel liner lock. Now, we originally wanted a titanium liner lock with an insert, but uh, they misunderstood that. They thought titanium scales with steel liner, I guess. Um, and then when we went to do the version 2 prototype, they basically said, well, we're going to have to make it like much thicker to do what you want. So we recommend just sticking with a steel insert. And we're like, oh, okay. So anyway... I wanted to check out the Pike because it has a steel liner and it's still premium. So I kind of wanted to get a feel for it. Um, but anyway, then I ordered the Chavez Sangre. And then I ordered two of the uh, Artisan Ahabs. So I think this might be the Sangre because um, there's only one knife in here. So, uh, And then we have something from big idea designs so you guys may or may not know i actually have an affiliate uh link with big idea designs uh, and i believe i have a code that is lefty edc it could be lefty 10 it's always down in the description guys um but i actually backed one of their projects on kickstarter the side click so it's like a i'll show you it's kind of like the tactile pen side click but this is the dual side click and uh, it's just kind of you know it's a, it's a edc pen i just was interested in pens at the time and i kind of just signed up for it on kickstarter i uh, i sign up for random projects on kickstarter sometimes and i did really like their tie click pen i gave it away in the last uh milestone giveaway the 5k and, uh, ugh. did I break it? What was I supposed to do? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, we have a spring, a little thingamabobber, and a key ring. They always have spare parts, which is cool. We have a pen. And I'll tell you the downside to their stuff in a second. I've kind of talked about it before, though. Um... Oh, the seal, you idiot. I broke the whole thing doing that. Okay, got it. Um, the downside to Big Idea Designs pens, because their shtick is that they have this, which you can um, rotate, and it will fit basically any refill you want, which is really cool. But the downside is... It makes it less tactile, less clicky, because it has that in it. I'll explain. I think... Do I have... I may have already stolen it. I need to get a um, Parker refill. Parker, Parker. Yes. Okay, so I'll swap these, because I never use this pen. This is the Parker Jotter. It's probably blasphemy to put a Schmitz refill in there, but I hate those Schmitz refills. Everybody freaking uses them. I don't know why. I think they give you this spring because it's bigger. So if you have a smaller refill, maybe, it works better with it. That's my theory. So we'll go ahead and tighten this down. And then we'll check out the action. Okay. So put this away. This right here tightens down the clip, which feels really loose. So I'm hoping... I just need to tighten it. Oh, there. It feels tight. Oh. So is the clip supposed to feel like that? Look at that. I don't know. This feels weird. Hold on. Ugh. 
guess we'll disassemble the pen while we're here. So this is your mechanism, I guess, right here. See that? It's got dual clicks, which is pretty cool. Uh, anyway, I just want to... Well, I could probably just take the clip off. I never even use a clip. Not a terrible idea. If I can't get it to stay still, then I will do that. There. It's still a little jostly, but it's much better. I think it wasn't seated right from factory. I think they screwed up a little bit. Probably put together a million of these. So anyway, you have a clicker, and then you have, boom. And you can click either side. And I guess that's the point. Or both? Nope. It pushes the other one through. <laughs> Can't do both. That sucks. It doesn't suck. It's fine. Um, so it is better than... But watch. If I... Like, see how much it sticks out? If I want to loosen that up a little bit, so I do this. Right? Just loosen this. And that'll give you a little more or less tip. But now... That's still good. You're kind of like... The more loose this is, the spring is going to loosen. Oh, that feels like they fixed it. Maybe with the side click, it doesn't matter. The problem with the clicker was it just felt a little weird. The the uh, I guess it is a little harder to push down the tighter it is, but it feels the same, which is good. That was my concern because with the... Uh, the top clicker one that was just a normal clicky pen, um, it felt a little spongy sometimes because of the mechanism. You know, it's kind of the downside to having it fit every refill kind of thing. Uh, anyway, this feels really good. Now let me grab some paper. My notebook. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Uh, I would probably come out just a little more. And that's what I love about uh, Big Idea Designs pens is because of this adjustable thing, you can decide how much tip you have. Because it bugs me when a knife, or sorry, a pen has a small amount of tip. It's one of the things that I will sell a pen over. I'm not really, I don't have a bunch of pens anymore, but... Um, I really just have the Saga and I think the Jotter and then I have the Urban Survival Gear one that lives in my bag. Other than that, that's it. I've sold them all. But if a pen has minimal tip, it bugs me. But you can see even the Saga doesn't have a ton of tip. Uh, but you also don't want that much tip, right? It just looks weird to me. So you can adjust it. If, you, if you're a small tip guy, boom. If you're a full tip guy... Boom. If you're like me, you can meet it in the middle somewhere. Um, this is my new pen. Boom. All right, cool. Uh, and other than that, it's pretty much like the uh, tactile side click. You push in and you click. That's it. Except this has a tab on both sides, which is nice, I guess, if you're left-handed or right-handed or whichever one, you know. 
I guess it's fine. And then it has a clip. It's made of titanium. Uh, the downsides, again, are uh, it feels a little less refined as something like this or a tactile because of the, the fit any refill type thing. Um, that's also its benefit is it fits any refill. Uh, it also looks a little goofy, um, uh, cause it has this kind of, you know, thing, whatever you want to call this barrel around the, the other barrel. Jesus, Kev. Uh, it just doesn't look as crisp because of that. Um, uh, and the sounds aren't as acoustically good because again, it has that, um, uh, modularity or whatever to it so uh but it's really cool i think it was like 70 bucks maybe on the kickstarter i can't remember they'll probably be like 100 bucks now and you can buy them now so you can go over to their website pick these up bigideadesigns.com you can use my code uh lefty edc again it's in the description and uh yeah pretty cool so that is the uh pen Now, let's see what we got from White Mountain Knives. Again, I'm pretty sure it's the Sangre. Ah! What? What? <laughs> okay. Uh, I got my own knife. Ooh. <laughs> Forgot how good the stout is, baby. Oh, my God. What a good knife. Whose knife is this? So, this is the Devo Knife Stout. She's centered. Yeah, she looks, she looks good to me. That's the, no play. Maybe feel a little something, but look at that action. Whew. So, this is a stout prototype. Uh, I think what happened was um, Justin said he'd send it back. I'm not sure why he didn't send it back with... I guess I asked him about the Sangre and stuff after the fact. Um, so this is just a stout. That's it. Sorry. Just a stout, uh, stout update. Uh, they're set to ship our way on August 10th and we, uh, sold out of the backspacer. So you could get a Mokutai backspacer. That's going to look so good on this guys. Uh, here's the Mokutai from QSP. So imagine that. In that backspacer right there. <laughs> Just a little pop of that. My God, they're going to be good, dude. And the other updates, deeper hollow grind. You're going to have uh, a little cutback here for access to the lock bar. I think it'll be important. Uh, the clip is going to work with Lynch clips and RGT clips. Uh, what's up? Why is it angled like that? have to adjust that um we're gonna have a smaller clip screw it's gonna seat down in um uh, there's some other minor stuff like knocking an edge down here uh i don't know i think that might be it but yeah baby stout is in the house all right cool so that's it. Sorry, uh, I was incorrect about what was in the package. So it was just a pen. We have unboxed a pen. So that's the uh, side click, the dual side click from Big Idea Designs. And another look at the Devo Knives Stout. Why not? Why not? All right. I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.